The good thing about being four inches tall is that I can spend a pound and eat for a month. Would you like a clementine, Miss Boots? Sure, if you like me back. Ever think about running away to become a stand-up comic? Nope. I don't think my myriad of fart jokes and yo mama humor would land with audiences. The whole show would just be me scrolling through memes on my phone. Silliness aside, are things going well in medical school? I don't suppose you've taken anyone under the knife yet, have you? Yeah, my professor for giving me an F in anatomy. I gave him a D for d d d d dead Oh, don't look so shocked. You know I'm only kidding. Honestly though, it doesn't pay nearly as much as being a pirate, but I guess it's alright. It's tough. I mean, I ace all the quizzes and such, but I'm beginning to realize why you don't see doctors who are squirrels. Those reflex cameras are heavy, man. I feel like little Johnny at the fair trying to ring the big bell. Oh, and I've got a part-time job as a tutor. It's minimum wage, though. I told him I wanted maximum wage, but they just laughed. Oh well. Oh, you'll make it work. Hard work is its own reward, as they say. Pretty sure the liquor store doesn't accept hard work as payment. I can't believe we spent all those years fighting each other. I lost my ship, my crew, and my tail, all because I was blinded by my own hubris. Hey, at least you got to keep that dumb hat, you limey rodent. Listen, it's basically all my fault, so don't blame yourself so much. I know I can never say sorry enough for all I've done to you, but I'm really glad we can be friends. You're a better man than I. Aw, oh, but you're not a bad person. Or a man for that matter. I think- Don't I touch me! I'm gonna go. Um, my sincerest apologies- No, you didn't do anything. Crap. I'm sorry I snapped at you, dude. Just a bad memory is all. Black boot. Yeah, the big Lumix like to pick me up and throw me around a bunch. Like I'm Raggedy Ann or something. Whatever. I turned all his men against him, had him thrown overboard, stole his fleet of ships, and built a multi-million dollar criminal empire. So I guess we're even now. Well now, don't let the past define you. Do you care for a oolong, Miss Boots? Sure, if you needed me. <laughs> <laughs>